Hi there, my name is Doug. I'm a developer here at RSVP Services. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build your telephone reservation lines using the online control panel that you see here on your screen. To begin, you're going to need to click on the telephone greeting tab, which is right here at the top. I'm currently on it. If you're not already on this page, you want to click on that tab, and then if it's your first time visiting the page, you'll be asked to answer a quick questionnaire. So just answer the questions, click next, and you'll be brought to this screen that you see here. Okay, your RSVP reservation line um, is an extremely flexible telephone system. We give you the ability to collect just about any kind of information that you could think of from a guest that's calling in. To understand how we're going to build our telephone um, prompts that will collect the responses from your callers, we're going to first need to go over the different kind of greetings that are available. And those are available over here in the toolbox that you can see. The first item in the toolbox is just a standard greeting and this is the, the easiest item. You probably won't use this very often. It's simply just a message that you would record to play back to your callers and then it doesn't accept any um, response in return. It just plays the greeting and then moves on to the next greeting in your canvas area. The next greeting you have available is the most commonly used one. This one right here, it's the greeting plus a recorded answer. We'll play a message to your caller, one that you will record and set up yourself, followed by a beep, and the response that the caller leaves will be recorded. When the caller is done recording their audio response, they can press the pound key to move on to the next greeting in your list, or they, if the system de detects um, five seconds of silence, it would also move them to the next greeting. The third type of greeting that you can use is a greeting plus a saved key press. So this is um, very similar to the last greeting. However, after the audio recording plays, rather than expecting an audio response from the caller, we'll expect a response in the form of a key press. So with this greeting, you prompt the user to press any number from 0 to 99. It'll record the number, and then it'll move on to the next greeting in your list. Another nice feature, too, about this greeting is that it will allow you to set up an entirely new path of different greetings to send people on who press zero. This is really handy if um, you're using this particular item to collect the number of people that are attending. So that way anyone that presses zero that's not attending, you can send them down a shorter path answering less questions than those who are, will be attending and that you have to gather additional information from, such as food options. The fourth greeting in the list, the greeting plus the menu key press, um, it's one of the most powerful tools that we have in this list. It allows you to essentially take reservations for up to 10 different events using a single reservation line. What it does, it will give you the ability to record a greeting to play to your guests and then it expects them to respond with a key press of 0 through 9. You can set up as many or as few of them as you want, but each one represents a menu item as opposed to an actual recorded number. We'll still record the number that they press and you'll still see that in your inbox, but its function is different in the sense that it will send them on an entire new path of greetings for that particular choice, 0 through 9. So you have the option to create 9 entirely different events. They press whichever number they would press would take them down an entirely new path of greetings that's specifically built for that event. In this video we won't be showing you that in use, but um, there are video, there is a video in on our YouTube channel, it's www.youtube.com slash RSVP services that does go into more detail with that particular control. Okay, and then the final greeting that we have that you can add to your phone lines is the greeting plus the confirmation number. What this does, it allows you to record a um, an outbound um, message to your guest thanking them for submitting their RSVP and then our system will automatically read back the, ex the um, not the extension number, the confirmation number. It will automatically read back the confirmation number that the system assigns to that caller. And then that confirmation number, it's primarily there. We recommend people use this particular greeting at the end of all their calls. It gives the caller assurance that the reservation has been submitted and it also gives you a convenient way to track um, guests based upon that confirmation number. So if a guest does contact you with that confirmation number you'll easily in our system be able to search and find their reservation and find them on your guest list. 
Okay, now that we have um, briefly covered what each toolbox item does, we're going to go ahead and look over at our actual RSVP line. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the drag-and-drop area. That's your current RSVP line. There should be a couple of different um, greetings out there right now that were automatically set up after you answered your questionnaire. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly open up the properties and remove these two so we can start with a blank canvas just to simplify this. So we're going to go ahead and set up an event. Let's say we're going to set up an event for a wedding. And the way we're going to do it, initially we're going to ask them the number of people that are attending. So we'll drag that item over. And then after we ask them the number of people that are attending, we will ask for the names of each people attending. And you just drag that under there, automatically jump in. And then after that, we're going to give them a confirmation number. The property sections are very important. You'll need to fill out um, different properties on each item that you drag onto your um, telephone line. So the first one, we're going to put in a greeting. This greeting, the um, it's not horribly important, but we recommend that you fill it out with something useful because this is the actual, this label right here is what will show up next to the response when you're actually in your inbox gathering RSVPs. So this, um, we are just going to put number attending. Now the next thing we need to do is set up our actual greeting that's going to play, prompting the user to input the number of people that are attending or the caller. So we're going to click on edit and what it's going to do is going to give us a tool free number that we can call. We put in this eight digit access code and it'll prompt us to record our greeting. And you will want to do this within five to ten minutes of pulling this up because these numbers will expire. If at any time you call in and the number is invalid because it has expired, simply close it, open it up, and you will have a new access code. But let's go ahead and set this one up together. So I'm going to call the toll free number. my code that's on the screen. At the tone, please record your greeting. When finished, press the pound key to save or re-record your greeting. Thank you for calling our RSVP line. Please press the number of people that will be attending in your party now. If you are sending your regrets, please press zero. You said... And I'm going to press one to save it. It'll play it back to you, but you don't have to listen. You can press 1 immediately to save it. It'll walk, say please wait, and now the greeting is set up. So now you can go on, and it, it's actually returning me to the main menu, so I can immediately go on, enter in a new code, go on to the next greeting. You don't have to call back, but we're not going to set up all the greetings um, while you guys are watching me. So we're going to go ahead and if you click the play button, go ahead and click play. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I've got, yeah, you pre you can't hear that, but you can immediately listen to the actual file that you just recorded there. Now, here's the other unique item that I explained briefly earlier for this control only, that if they press a zero, because we're assuming it could be a regret, you can click on that and set up an entirely different greeting path. So if you click on the zero, we'll go ahead and click on it. As you can see, we are now on a whole new, so we got our main greeting behind, but now it's a whole blank drop area. So now we can bring over a new greeting plus recorded answer and bring over a new confirmation number because we know these are regrets, so we can give a personalized message here saying, sorry you, can, you, know, sorry you can't attend, just leave your name after the tone, thank you. We'll say name of regret, or name of guest. I'm even going to put regret in there, even though we'll still be able to see it in other ways. And then you would set that one up, and then down here will be um, confirmation. So I'm just going to put confirmation number. Okay, so now we got those. And now we can click the return to main greeting to go back. I would go in and set up the greetings, but I'm not going to waste Charles' time. We've already done that. You see how to do that. And so now in this one, too, we'll want to ask for name, ask for name, and this one, they are coming. We know these people are coming. Because up here, on that past one, we asked the number of attending. If they put any number except for zero, they're just going to go down to the very next one. 
we're going to get their name and then the last one their confirmation number okay so now I'm going to go ahead and set up the greeting for these other ones and then we'll come we'll fast forward through and you guys will see me on the other side okay so now we are done setting up our greeting so I'm gonna go ahead and test it we're gonna call the toll-free number that's listed in the top navigation bar and when prompted to we're gonna input our extension number which in this case is 1009 and the operators you hear on this system right now will be changed by the time this goes live and now you'll hear the items that I just set up so we'll press one we're so glad that you're able to make it at the time please leave the name of each person attending in your party along with their meal selection of chicken or beef this is Doug from RSVP services and I'll take the chicken your reservation has been submitted your confirmation number is so that's it a reservation line has been set up you would now be able to go to your inbox and check them which I'm not going to go over in this video but there are other videos in our, on our YouTube channel at youtube.com uh, YouTube slash RSVP services and amongst them you'll find a video that shows you the inbox and how you actually retrieve these messages and apply them to your guest list thanks for watching